Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0496 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0496 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system high purge flow. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer is seeing an issue with the EVAP system. And the EVAP system takes the gas vapors and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off instead of escaping into the atmosphere. And it's for emissions. And so the onboard computer is seeing a problem with this. And so if you get this code, the most common cause is going to be a purge valve, but it could be some other things. So keep that in mind. The, the usual cause of this code is this purge valve. This sits up inside the engine compartment. It has a valve inside of here that opens and closes. It stays open when the engine's running to send the gas vapors into the engine and get burnt off. And it closes when the engine's off so they don't escape. And if, so it might, this valve might be stuck closed. They're pretty easy to swap out usually. They'll have like two, three, four bolts. They'll have two hoses going to it. And they'll have a wiring harness. One thing to mention is be sure to check that wiring harness. Since if it has bad wiring or this connection's bad, then it could cause the same symptoms as a bad valve. So uh, be sure this connection's on there good. If you have a meter, you could check it for an open or a short or something like that. But definitely keep in mind, wiring can cause an issue. But usually replacing this purge valve is the most common fix. So while this is the most common fix, there is other parts of the EVAP system that could cause this problem. So I'm going to go over those real fast. And the main, the main components are going to be the charcoal canister, which also has the vent solenoid. Uh, you're going to have a fuel tank pressure sensor, which sends the data back to the onboard computer what's going on. And you're, you're going to have that purge valve. And then you're going to have all these hoses going to everything. And so, so this fuel tank pressure sensor, if that goes bad, the onboard computer can get the wrong data and think something is bad, like the purge valve. But it's not because it's just that the sensor is sending back the bad data. Now these sensors don't usually go bad, but they can. So it's something to keep in mind is that it could the sensor is part of the system. The charcoal canister is another part of the system. It's usually up underneath the car by the gas tank. Uh, they'll have a couple of straps holding it in. They'll have like three hoses going to it and a wiring connection. And these could have a leak or they can have a restriction. They have a valve inside of there. It's called the canister vent solenoid valve. And if these become clogged up or there's a problem with that, then that could also cause an issue. And of course, the gas cap is actually part of the system too. And so, and it needs to seal up when it goes on. Because when the engine's running, that whole system needs to be inside of a slight vacuum. That's what that, that's what that sensor is reading, is that slight vacuum that happens when the engine's running. So all the vapors go back into the engine. They get burnt off. If you do change out that purge valve or purge solenoid, as it's stated here, then, then these are the next things to start checking. Go, go and test out, check the charcoal canister or replace it if you have to. Check out this fuel tank pressure sensor and check out all the wiring for all of this because that could be an issue. Another thing is that all of these hoses going everywhere, they can't leak. So be sure to go around and check them and be sure there's no leak going to anything. If you took it to a mechanic shop, they have a smoke machine they feed into the EVAP system that would send smoke out any possible leak or failed component and help some troubleshoot EVAP systems. But you likely won't have a smoke machine you have to physically go around and be sure all these connections, that they all look good and there's no cracks or hoses broken off. So that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick basic overview of what you could do if you had a Honda with the P0496 code and how you go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.